Hey everybody, I just got my Beamia IPL hair removal device in the mail today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it comes with. And I'm going to put it to the test to see how good it works. So I can save you guys a lot of trouble. Got a little uh, pamphlet in here with a lot of information on what to watch out for when you're using it. It has the directions which are pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. And uh, here's the device. There's the glasses. Uh, razor, don't need that, and the cord. So, okay, so I was gonna shave in the bathtub, but I'm doing it over the sink right now because the cord will reach. I'm just gonna start with my tummy and chest. Since I'm a guy, I can't stand having all this hair, as you can see, especially in the summertime. I'm gonna start with my dog clippers just to see if it gets close enough shave. And hopefully, I won't have to use the uh, straight razor. And then when I'm done, I'll let you know how it goes. It looks like I'm going to have to use the uh, straight razor, so I'll get back. Okay, so I did shave first with the, uh, as you can see, the dog clippers without an attachment. It was still a little bit too long, so I did have to use a straight razor. Um, my favorite one is the Gillette Fusion 5 Pro Glide. And so now I'm going to go into the uh, art room and lay down. I need my wife's help with the uh, machine. I'll see if I can do it my by myself just to let you guys know okay I'm going to show you how to use the laser hair removal now it says how many times should I use procession for the first through fourth weeks it says you can use it three times for, per week fifth through sixth week two times per week seven to eight weeks one time per week and then after eight weeks you're only supposed to use it one time every two weeks it says how many times should I treat the same area it says you can flash the entire treatment area once for first time and continue the process repeatedly for second and third time. However, don't exceed more than three consecutive flashes on treatment area. Here's the device right here. I just keep it plugged in. It says off right now. All you do is hold the power button down until it comes on. You can hear a little fan. You want to make sure that fan's running because I actually bought one of these and the fan went out and I didn't realize it. I burnt the first device out so I had to send it back. I've had this one for a couple weeks now. I decided to use it before I decided to make another video just to make sure the product wasn't a piece of junk. But this one's been running fine for two weeks. So I have it on and I use mine at full strength right away. It just, you can't even feel it all the time. Sometimes it's just barely feel a little stink. So I already have it on. I have it all powered up. And then all you do is uh, you can put it on your skin and just this is the flash button right here. You get all these instructions if you order one. All you do is put it on your skin, hold it down, it flashes. After you hold it down until it flashes, it flashes on its own, and then I just barely pick it up and move it over instead of sliding it across my skin because my skin gets kind of moist. And then, now that I showed you that, all you have to do is go over the whole area just like the instruction said one time and then you can go back over it a uh, second or third time if you want. That's pretty much it. To turn it off, all you do is hold the power button down. And then you let off, it'll turn off by itself. But I'm going to turn it back on and just show you how I do the, uh, the laser hair myself real quick. Just to give you an idea. Okay, I'm holding it back down again to turn it on. It's on, I can hear the fan running. I click the power button until the meter's all the way at full power. And then I just lay down. Let me see if you can hold the laser dill down without having it on your skin. There it goes, there's a little symbol that pops up when it's ready. So then when you touch your skin, it'll automatically go off. And I just keep picking it up and gently moving it over. And I just go back and forth in different lines to make sure the whole area gets covered. I gotta go all the way down, slide it over a little bit, and then just come up. You just let the weight of the machine rest against your skin, and then just keep moving it up. When I first started, I'd hold it against my skin like this and just slowly slide it as it was going off. As long as it's in contact with your skin, it'll keep flashing. But that's pretty much the main gist of it. My skin gets a little bit moist, but 
I'm just, you just have to let it rest against your skin because if you push down on it, it traps more of the laser and it stings more, which it's probably more powerful. But anyways, that's just the main gist. Then you just go over the entire area you want to treat a second or third time if you want. I've been going over it twice and it's on full power. So there you go. Let me hold this down again just to show you. Hold it down until that comes on and then it's going off. I've been using mine for two weeks now. It feels like my hair's starting to thin out. But I'll definitely create an updated video later.